so a trailer dropped and i want to talk about it <laughs> hey guys it's me coral it has been a while since i've talked about lego monkey kid stuff i mean sure i've been doing art with ocs and stuff but when it came to official stuff i thought we would have to wait a very long time to get season five and uh we have been waiting a long time it's been uh Oh boy. Now I'm gonna be showing some clips from this trailer so those of you who are kind of under a rock right now know what I'm talking about. And um, I don't want to show the full thing because the last thing I need is Lego tracking me down again and I do not want that. <laughs> mm -mm. And to those who don't want to see this yet and want to wait till the actual show comes out, uh, this is basically kind of a spoiler warning just so you know. I, I guess it is so... Anyways, enough of my babbling bullshit, here we go. So, a trailer for season 5 dropped. Now, this came out many hours ago, and uh, people have a lot to say about it. As you can see, the animation quality is a little bit different from what we're used to. Some people are okay with it, some people are neutral about it, and others just flat out hate this style. Now, most fans have expressed their upsetness with this change in style on YouTube, Twitter, and wherever else this trailer is posted. And it's understandable why they're kind of upset about it, because they've been waiting a very long time for this trailer, and to see it kind of downgrade to this style of animation, it's mostly understandable on why they feel so underwhelmed about it. Now, how do I feel about this whole thing, personally? Now, I'm on the neutral side of it all, and I'll tell you why. The reason I'm so neutral about this downgrade in animation is because I understand why. You see, Flying Bark Productions, the one who really animates Monkey Kid, collaborated with another animation studio who also happened to animate Lego Ninjago, a fandom that I have not been a part of for a very long time since childhood, and that other company being Wild Brian. Basically, a another studio located in Vancouver, Canada. Now, from what I've heard, I don't know if it's really official, but I heard that Wild Brian are going to be the ones animating this from now on. Because Flying Bark Productions are working on something for Avatar The Last Airbender, I'm not so sure. But, hey, maybe they'll still be around to animate some stuff. And though I have not watched Ninjago in a very long time, I could see what Wild Brian can do, and they have made some pretty good animations, especially with the new seasons of Ninjago. Because I've also heard that when season 11 for Ninjago came out, basically there was a trailer that was not even supposed to be released, but it did get released, and the animation, what I've heard, wasn't exactly up to par for what Ninjago fans are really used to. So, if it feels like Monkey Kid fans are getting the Ninjago treatment, that's what it kind of feels like to them. Now, this could be the very first time Wild Brian is dabbling in 2D animation. And from what I understand, 2D animation is not the fucking easiest. I know that for myself. I still struggle with it even to this day. So I can personally understand why this animation looks rushed and unfinished, and why it looks like a fan animation. And there's nothing wrong with fan animations. I've seen some fan animations of Little Monkey Kid, and they generally look good. I even got fooled by them a couple times thinking it was official. Now, what do I think of the animation? Sure, it looks a little bit different from what I'm used to, and it does look a little bit rushed, but I'll be completely honest, it doesn't look that bad as some people are making it out to be. With people calling it dog shit, and also it being the worst thing they've ever seen. Now, people can have their own criticisms, it's the internet, I can't change people's mind, but to me personally, it doesn't look that bad, and it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Hell, I'd say, me personally, it's a lot better animated than what I could really ever do. And, you know, this is only the first trailer, like, there's still plenty of time before the show comes out, whether it be the end of May or some point in June, being that there's still time. So, the animation could change. And if it upgrades, then great, fantastic. But if it stays the style, it's gonna be a bit for me to get used to, but I can get used to it. I will have no problem with it as long as I still continue to enjoy the story. And I know a lot of people say quality over quantity, and yes, I get that. But for me, I'd say as long as the story's good, I couldn't give two shits on what the animation looks like, whether it's good or bad. I know people care about that. I care a little bit about that too, but not to the point where I think it's the worst thing I've ever seen since... Since fucking cling cling. I don't hate it, man. I just don't fuck with it personally. Now, am I here to change your mind about any of this? No, absolutely not. Am I here to get your hopes up that maybe the animation could upgrade? No. Am I here to get your hopes down? 
not really, but like I said, I'm here to be neutral about this whole thing. Because remember, this video is based on my opinion. Something that seems people forget nowadays because apparently when you have an opinion, oh no! But honestly, despite everything, despite the odd change in animation, I'm just grateful that we're even getting a season 5, because after season 4, and after waiting for a year, I thought, well, that's the end of that, time to try to move on, but obviously, it was clear that they have been working on it, and yes, like I said, though it's gonna be odd to have a changed animation style, if this style stays, I'm gonna be grateful that, you know, season 5 is even happening, because Sure, I've been waiting for this season to come out, and sure, it may not look like what I expected. That's okay, because obviously it's- I can see they're trying their best, and to me personally, that's all that matters. I'm not a judgeful person, and I'm not one to jump to that, oh, it's, it looks horrible, why would they do this to something I love, because I get why some changes needed to happen. And, of course, some people hate those changes, but that's okay, because that's how they feel about it, I'll let them feel that way about it, and I'll just stick with myself and the people that don't mind this change too much, despite what it looks like. Anyways, I'm sorry this video has been so long, I just wanted to get this off my chest, because I know people have been asking me about this trailer and what I think about it. And whether it's official or not, I mean, there are many people saying that, oh, this is official, this is fake, so, um, uh, this fandom likes to give trust issues, so this is the possibility that this could be real. I mean, many people are saying this is real, but of course, like I said, this is only the first trailer. There's still plenty of time before the actual show comes out. I'll see what happens with the animation. Like I said, if it upgrades, great. If it stays this style, it'll be a bit for me to get used to, but I have no problem with that. Anyways, that's all for me. Um, I'm gonna go make my bed. I'm gonna think about life. See if there's any crabs in the basement. Anyways, bye! By the way, if I got some things wrong, please let me know. Anyways, this is actually the end now. Bye. <laughs>